What's up everybody, Jack from Half Chrome. Today I wanna to talk to you about these guys, antennas. And you know what, I'll be honest, I was confused by them for the longest time. Right hand, left hand, SMA, RP, SMA, what is all of that? Then you have Patch and Omni, and there's all sorts of different antennas. So, what do you want? Well, let's talk about it. I want to talk about some of the different antennas that you might have. Uh, starting with one of these, these are linear antennas. If these are on your goggles or on your drones, replace them. Uh, they're really not the best. There are a lot of better options. Um, let me over here, a couple of standard patch antennas. Again, these particular patch antennas that look like this haven't been the best. Um, they're pretty good for uh, straightforward, but uh, you're not going to get any coverage with something like that. Uh, these are much better patch antennas. Uh, I'm using this one here, this triple feed patch. Uh, I was using this Invader Menace uh, patch, also a good one. Uh, these are Pagoda style antennas over here, um, and they have some pretty good omnidirectional coverage. Um, then we have some standard uh, circular polarized antennas, a lot of different versions over here. Uh, this one's probably the best. Uh, this is a TVS antenna, although uh, kind of expensive. Most of these are pretty good. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the right hand and left hand polarization later. Uh, but this is actually what I like using right now. These are the uh, lollipops. Uh, the Fox here lollipops. I like them because they're really small and they give me good reception. All right, let's talk a little bit more about antennas and what you need to know. Okay, so it is important to kind of understand your antennas, what's on your drone and what's on your goggles because they need to communicate with each other. These are pretty common circular polarized antennas and you know, you might not think about it, but it actually matters how this was built because a lot of times there's both right hand and left hand antennas. Um, and if you have a right hand on your drone, you need a right hand on your goggles. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it absolutely matters. It kind of changes the way that those signals are sent. I'm not nerdy enough to really understand or be able to explain it to you, but just know that uh, the way the antenna was built matters because it sends out a signal that matters. So the first thing is you have to check to see if you have right hand or left hand antennas on your drone. Now, if you have just a linear antenna, um, it's not going to be right hand or left hand, but uh, if you have something like this, um, most of them are right handed. So this one here, you can see, it doesn't say anything on it. Whereas this fox here does, we got an arrow pointing to the right. This is a right hand antenna. A lot of times it's listed on the antenna itself. Right here I can see in this lollipop it says RHCP. And this pagoda, this is really small on here, but it says LHCP. So I know this is a left hand antenna. Now if you're not sure if you have a right or left hand antenna, then just pop the little cap off. You can do that, it's pretty simple. Just pry it till it comes loose and then take a peek at what's inside. So this one that I just pried off for you, this is a right hand antenna. I can tell because it goes up and banks to the right, right? Up and to the right. This is a left hand antenna. It comes up and banks to the left, right? Um, hence the name. You wanna make sure that whatever's on your drone is on your goggles. Mixing and matching, not a good idea. Maybe you're thinking, well, I got diversity. Don't I want a left and a right? No, you want two lefts or two rights. That's gonna give you the best picture. Another thing that's important that you have to look at is how does the antenna connect to either your goggles or your drone? The little connector here, um, some are innies and some are outies, um, right? Uh, that's kind of the way that I like to think of it. But uh, yeah, you've got uh, SMA, which is kind of the standard connector. You got an Audi, right? A little plug in the middle. Um, and then RPSMA, reverse polarized, I think is what that stands for, uh, meaning they pull the plug um, and it's on the other end of the connector, right? So uh, you just kind of have to know, again, which one of these you have. Now, uh, if you bought the wrong one, there are connectors and converters, things like that, but you really want to avoid as many connections as you can because you're gonna lose a little bit of signal anytime you have to go through another connection. So you want to avoid that. Now, what kind of antenna do you want? That's another good question. All sorts of different kinds of antennas. This is a patch antenna. Patch antennas have a really strong signal. If you need to go through some trees way out there, um, they work really well. Problem with these antennas is they're very directional. You have to be looking at uh, your drones. So if you drop your head when you fly, that means this is pointing at the ground. 
and your drone's probably not there. So uh, the thing I like about this specific patch, this triple feed patch from Real ACC, is that uh, you get this little connector here and you can kind of angle it, you know, so if you stare at the ground, you can kind of angle it up like I do. This is also nice because it's either left or right hand polarized. You kind of switch this on the back. Uh, just make sure you put a terminator here so that you're not losing uh, DBs out the back. Then we have our pretty common circular polarized antennas. Um, I've been using this. This is uh, the Team Black Sheep Triumph. It's a pretty expensive antenna, like 20 bucks a pop. Uh, you buy them in sets of two, so that's $40. Um, that is expensive, right? So, you know, maybe not for everybody. Some other solutions. Um, you know, most, most of these are okay, right? They're not bad. And to be honest, even really good antennas, you're going to get some of that breakup anyway. Pagoda antennas, um, like this one here, uh, this is also real ACC Pagoda. Um, they were designed by uh, a drone guy actually. Um, and rather than juicing coils, they use PCB board. Um, again, the, the science behind it is over my head. Uh, but I do know that they're supposed to be slightly better than a standard circular polarized antenna, right? Um, I think they, in my testing, right, I can't really tell that it's really all that different, um, but uh, I guess the parabola that uh, it sends out is supposed to be a little bit better. Now, omnidirectionals or circular polarized like these um, do a better job of kind of getting a wider field of view, for lack of better terms, or a wider dish uh, of uh, reception than say a patch. So a patch is very focused, right? Where these omnidirectionals, these circular polarized kind of give like a, a wider field. So uh, a lot of people like to run an omnidirectional and a patch, um, but honestly, you know, two omnidirectionals is also a really good way to go. Now I've recently switched to these Foxier lollipops. You can see it's really small. Um, I kind of like these hanging off my coggles. They're not super huge. Um, they're also good to put on the back of a drone. Um, and from what I understand, they're kind of like a pagoda, right? They're, they're something similar to this where there's PCB in here. Um, we're not talking rocket science, but I found these to be really good. So um, again, these are right hand. So I put a right hand on my drone. I put a right hand on my goggles and then um, since I'm running diversity, I can use two antennas. Okay, so what do I use? Well, not that that's what you should use, but uh, I've recently switched to these uh, Foxier lollipops with the triple feed patch. Um, if, if I don't feel like I need a patch, I, I sometimes will run two of these on my goggles, and then I make sure that I have a right hand polarized on my drone as well. So, you know, Hey, for what it's worth, that's what I know about uh, about antennas. There's a whole lot more out there, a lot more scientific. Super nerds know a lot more than I do, but the most important thing is make sure that you have right hand with right hand or left hand with left hand. It does not matter which one you go with. Either uh, will work just as well. You just have to make sure that they match. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, that was helpful for you. If it was, hey, use one of these affiliate links to buy one of those antennas. Um, doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me make these videos so that you guys uh, keep getting this info. Make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, thanks for watching. Happy flying.